Hello guys, um, I haven't been around for a long time, I've had exams and a lot of other stuff going on, um, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to be more active now, I've got a couple more exams, but especially over the Christmas holidays, I'll be able to get out quite a few videos. So today I thought for a nice easy comeback video, we'll do the colour bash prompt, um, well, with you if you're English or Australian or whatever, um, so just jump right in. So this is generally used, well this was started, it's the most widespread colour scheme, um, started for Gen 2 GNU Linux, um, but today we're going to be using it on Arch, you can use it on any distro you want. First thing you're going to want to go and do is, as you can see here, remove your .bash RC file. And this, you might see this is a little bit mucked up, um, I was playing around with it earlier, but I'm going to fix it now. So it will look similar to this, but with an arrow like up here, rather than this sort of funny code down there. So what you would do is you do rm tilde slash dot bash rc obviously seed into your home directory it doesn't exist because I've already done this then what you're going to want to go and do is modify this file etc bash rc so sudo nano and paste that in or type it in alternatively you could obviously log in as root I've already used sudo recently so obviously it won't come up ask me for the password just quickly remove all this what you're going to want to go and do then is uh, come down here and just copy the file. Make sure you've got it all. Copy, Control Shift V in there. And the first thing you're going to go and do, right down the bottom, you see that. You don't have to do this, this is just what I like. Put Big D instead of the sad face. Remove that. And then we have that. And this one you don't have to bother editing, I always edit it just because. Uh, in case I ever want to use this one, but I won't, but you know, just in case because I'm a bit like that. Um, have that there, and then obviously just that one there, and then you're going to want to go up and do the same thing here, and then obviously go down, put the smiley face there in place of the sad one. And here you will see one last change I want to make here. If you want fortune, you can have fortune. I don't really like fortune, it's just a couple of quotes. It's a bit bland and plain if you ask me. You can do it though. I prefer Archie, so just write that in there. I'm actually making a port of that, so I might, if that's done, I'll put this down in the description. It might take a while though, I don't know if I have time. For the minute, you can just put Archie there, and that's it. So Control X, Y, and Enter, or whatever editor you're using. And obviously, if you just hit Bash, It'll reload, sorted. Um, so another thing you're going to need to do after that is you're going to need to make an etc slash the underscore colours. So sudo and then I'm, and then go in there. I've already done this, but basically all you're going to do, same process, come here, copy all this, then Control Shift V in the terminal window to do that. You got the etc slash scale directory. So if I just Control X out of this clear this and just restart bash um, yeah you've got the etc slash scale di directory there um, you can do this it's optional uh, I do like this so what you're going to have to do is um, if you want to make any changes so you're going to have to go sudo nano etc default user add and we're going to go in there and yeah, you can change that if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because it's just not generally a need. Um, you can follow the Gentoo uh, installation guide if you really want to make any differences there. Um, yeah, you can now edit this. Um, if you want all your users to have the exact same sort of look as you, then what you want to go and do, I'll just show you quickly. Just that so sudo nano etc scale dot bash rc open that up and so if you want them all to have the same settings as you which I actually do just control k on that line to get rid of it control x y and enter save clear and then sorry and then restart bash and we sorted um really that's about it all I want to go over is uh I'm using Arch now I was using Ubuntu and Debian a little bit a bit of mint but um, I was finding it too, too easy, so uh, 
I thought I'd give myself a bit of a challenge with this. And obviously, just one last thing, you can uh, obviously change it like this, using all these sort of utilities I described down here. I'll put a link to this in the description. You can go check this out. Um, you don't really need to. I like the default settings apart from what I've changed. But if you do have a desire to change it in certain different ways, I could maybe perhaps make a different guide on it, or you could follow this guide here to customise it exactly to your needs. Although it should, for most people, be pretty much fine. Obviously, I want to thank the guys over at Arch who made this uh, on the Arch Wiki, and especially, I know, obviously all GNU Linux distributions will do it, but it's under the GNU Free Documentation License 1.3, or you could use a later version if you wanted to. Jeez is obviously supporting free software and free documentation so that we can um, we can all make guides and distribute this information however we want in the visual one. Uh, I'll see you later, guys. If you want to leave me a message in the comments or send me a personal message,